Okay, so we got the uh, room full of vacuums. Now, some of these, um, all the ones along this wall in this order are working just fine. But some of these in the middle have some issues. Some of these on this end have issues too. So which one do I use to... <laughs> So which one of these do I use to clean? That's the question. There's plenty of options. I would love to use that smart fact, but the switch is bad. And uh, so I don't know which one of these to use. Hmm. Well, we're about to pick one. All right, let's try this one. Now, before I start this, I'm going to warn you, this machine is a screamer. Definitely a screamer, and that probably gives a hint as to what it is, which obviously you'll see what it is in a couple seconds, but if you're wearing headphones, honestly, probably don't even bother turning them down. Probably just mute them, because this thing is loud, and there's nothing wrong with it, not that I can tell, but it is just naturally very loud. Anyways... Let's start it up. Obviously, this is these two drawer sheets are probably not a good idea to pick up with this since there's no obviously there's no easy easy use hose on this, so I'm not gonna suck it up with that. We'll just keep it out of the way, and we will continue. <laughs>
See, this machine is an interesting one because this performs very well. It, it's cleaning ability on carpets, it's ability to pull just all sorts of crap out of the carpet, especially considering how cheap this machine is, is really impressive. That said, its biggest Achilles heel is a flaw that somehow Dirt Devil, to this day, at least that I'm aware of, has never quite managed to solve. And that's this brush roller. Now, the way this is designed, you can see it pulls a lot of crap out of the carpet. It really does. This brush roller, the way this is designed with how dense these bristles are, they're not the stiffest in the world, but they're still a decent amount of stiffness. They're super dense. They create a lot of resistance. But this automatic height adjustment is just not great because especially on this type of carpet where it's relatively plushy like this is basically like a medium style carpet it's it's not a high pile but it's also not a super low pile carpet it's a very average sample of what you would see in a carpet that's part of the reason why I like testing vacuums on this carpet as well as the carpet at my dad's house because there are uh, some machines I have that legitimately do not run on my dad's carpet at all. Um, notably, like the Bissell Power Truck Revolution and um, a few other machines. But this, again, we can see, like this, this was empty beforehand, at least from what I could remember. I'm pretty sure it was empty. We can see there's a lot of hair and grit that's been pulled up. You can see that big wad of hair, as well as what's stuck to that very large F1 filter. We can see, yeah, again, like there's filtration on this machine, not a strong suit, because we can see coarse debris in here, and there is no, there's no post-motor filter at all. Now, some people have claimed, they're like, oh, well, new Bissell's like the Power Force Helix don't have post motor filters and that's that's not true. They do have post motor filters. It's just that they're inex inaccessible by the user. This actually doesn't have a post motor filter. So um haven't done the full review on this yet, but there is a reason why I've been hesitant to use this, despite the fact that Again, if there was a version of this machine, obviously there is a bagged version of this machine, which I don't have. And if I did have that version, um, if I had the bagged version of this that also had a height adjustment to get rid of the stupid belt problem that this had. Because you could hear, this brush roll was slowing down very badly and was only really spinning properly when it was being pulled in reverse. When you're going forward, this brush roll pretty much stalls. Um, but again, even with that, it still manages to clean well, but these things burn through belts. Oh God, so fast. Like, this is the only time that I've used this outside of the pickup test I did with this, where, uh, prior to those two times, I put a brand new belt in this and a good brush roll, uh, that I had just freshly cleaned up. And we can see that the brush roll still is clean, but the wind down is a bit funky on it now and the belt is obviously already shot and that's a bit of a problem but again these machines these machines really have me torn because they they get so much crap out of the carpet i mean look at that so like if these things could just resist the belt deterioration problem because the brush rolls themselves the bearings don't go bad on them all that often uh, at least compared to uh Bit, compared to some Hoovers and especially Bissells and even Eurekas, I don't see very many of these brush rolls go bad. In terms of like bearings actually destroy and then make the brush roll unusable. But with the belts, it's just, ugh. it's really hard to get behind this machine. Even though, again, like it has 
screaming attributes that are really positive. And I don't, I don't just mean the fact that it runs very loud. But, yeah. So, that's the Dirt Devil Breeze cleaning up the living room carpet. And I need to go get the new style Breeze that I got from, from my dad's house and actually pit these head to head. Because... So far, I'm thinking that I like this better than the old, than the newer style. Because I know one person said, hey, clean this one up. You're going to like it a lot more than the new Breeze, I promise. And uh, I do think I like it better. But, again, I haven't used the new style. And I mean that literally. Like, the, the one that I got this new in box, I haven't even... I haven't even actually ran anything through it yet. It's still factory new. So, perhaps I should take that over here and compare these more head-to-head... -head. But I know there's a version of this with the height adjustment, and I've talked to some other collectors who have the Jag... I think it's called the Jaguar, the version of this with the height adjustment, and it works so much better. So if there was a version of this machine out there that was bagged, had the height adjustment, had a good post-motor filter, like, that would be a pretty solid winner. But, um, yeah, so... And a longer cord, of course, because this cord is very short. Again, I could barely reach into that corner with the outlet right there but yeah so that's the dirt devil breeze vacuuming living room i figured some people some people love these dirt devils so i figured i'd show it off so that's that dirt devil breeze anyways until tech studios signing out and i'll see you all in the next video also the it, there's a pretty bad snowstorm going out right now so this isn't like mud or anything this is just the carpet's just wet from from the, uh, you know, we just, just got home from a snowstorm and everything, so obviously a little bit of water got tracked in, so obviously I didn't vacuum up that section of the carpet because it's damp, obviously, but anyways, so that's the Dirt Devil Breeze vacuuming up the living room carpet, so there we go, this is Intelltech Studio signing out, hope you all enjoyed this video, Ugh. Ugh. anyways, Teletech Studios, signing out. Have a good one. Peace. And also, um, I know collectors really like these machines, so what are your thoughts on these? And uh, I did actually just get a Dirt Devil Impulse, which is basically like the very early version of the Featherlight. The only thing wrong with it is it's missing the, the bumper, and it's missing the dusting brush, uh, which I don't know if it uses this style of dusting brush or if it uses a different style, but... So I just got to get a, another dusting brush for these. In fact, I need a whole new attachment set of this style attachment set because my Swivel Glide uh, still needs an attachment set. And I do still... Oh, yeah, the Swivel Glide also is one where it's unusable on my dad's uh, carpet. So, again, that's one where I'll have to bring that one over here to the new house and see how well the, the Swivel Casters work on this carpet because I really like the swivel, the swivel Casters on the Swivel Glide. So would you stop shaking? So if I could try that out on this carpet, I think... I think that machine would also be a winner as well, even more so than this, because I love that silver glass, just I never used it because it was unusable on my carpet, so I haven't even done any work to it, I haven't even put the new belt in it that it needs, but obviously I have a set of belts now, so I may do that at some point, but right now just space is limited in case you couldn't tell by that room, so if I'm going to bring new vacuums over here, i got to take some other ones back over to my dad since I don't have the space here at the moment. But um, there are a few machines I'm, I'm thinking about getting and bringing over here to do some testing on. Um, like uh, notably, notably the, uh, the Shark Apex. Um, I may take that over here as well because I want to see how well the dual clean system works. And then my Zero M Apex I need to get a new wand for. And at some point I'd like to check out the Vertex as well. But I don't know if Shark is still giving out samples to reviews to reviewers. I know they used to do that. But, uh, yeah, so just a quick little update there. And uh, if you guys have any, any requests for vacuum videos, like little demos that you want to see, you know, of this style, if there's any vacuums I have that are running or ones that I'm working on that I'll get running soon uh, that you want to see, drop it in the comments below and I, I may do that since, uh, again, yeah. Review on this might be coming soon. Obviously, the, the Musu review is going to come first. Actually, both those machines, the reviews are going to come pretty soon. Because uh, I want to review this machine before the deal, the $60 deal goes away. Which, it might even be gone already, but oh well. So, yeah. 
Intellitech Studio signing out with the uh, whole living room vacuuming of the Dirt Devil Breeze and not the Cyclonic version. Uh, this one was manufactured in 2011, I'm pretty sure, so it's uh, it's not like a super old variant, but it's it's like the most up-to-date one, pretty much the newest one right before they got redesigned, because they got redesigned in like 2012, I think, 2013, something like that. But yeah, so that's the old school Dirt Devil Breeze. And uh, since I keep rambling and repeating myself, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.